I can't even... I can't even shoot. What? What? How did he do that? Are you kidding me? What? 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 Are you... Are you serious right now? Okay, you know what? I need to stop playing pool with John, and I need to work on some videos. Wait, is my three year anniversary coming up? Man, I can't believe I forgot when I joined YouTube. That's kind of sad, man. January 22nd. Oh my gosh, it's January 21st. I need to hurry up. What, what can I do? Oh boy, my layout video. This is great. Hey everybody. To start oh, off man. this channel. I was good at making Before notes. I forget, let's do the road. I mean, it's short, but anyway. Starts right here. It goes through this tunnel. This is not Henry's tunnel. This is a race day tunnel. Oh yeah. That was a really cool destination. I will be doing a discussion on this and Hilltop Station pretty soon. Wait, what? What? I'm doing a discussion on them? Did I ever do that? There's no results. Okay. Wait, what? Roman, when's the review on Hillstop Station and Race Day Tunnel coming out? Oh my gosh. Would be a really good idea for me to do this for my three year anniversary video. Alright, let's get the stuff. The Let's Have a Race set was a very unique set that was introduced in 2002 and discontinued in 2006. It was based off the episode, Thomas and Birdie's Great Race. For the most part, this set did a great job at recreating the episode. Included in this set is a standard 2002 Thomas, Annie and Clarabelle, the redesigned 2002 Birdie, a good amount of track and roadway, The two exclusive destinations, Hilltop Station and the Race Day Tunnel, a single stone tunnel, an arched viaduct, a railway crossing, a 2002 redesigned windmill, various trees and signs, and a Sir Tom Hat figure. This set really stuck out as a kid, and I remember always wanting it. Lucky for me, a toy store near me had this set and I got it for one of my birthdays. This set did a great job at recreating the episode including all the major scenes from it. Although, I have no clue where they got the idea for Hilltop Station, as only Ellsbridge and Farquhar are seen in the episode. But this set does do a great job, pretty much giving you an even amount of roadway and track. So for the time, it was a great starter set. The layout of this set is very different from something we'd see nowadays with Mattel, and it makes it a really fun set to play with. The station has to be one of my favorite parts. It's got a lot of detail and it's the only station in the wooden railway that is elevated, making it very different. The Race Day Tunnel is also a great destination incorporating roadway on the top and bottom and one line of track. It makes this simple wooden railway set seem like a real life place, as roads often cross and come near rails. Mattel doesn't do this at all, besides the long lasting Tin of Sheds deluxe set, but keep in mind they didn't come up with the design. The red windmill, while not representing the windmill seen on Thomas's branch line, is still very nicely detailed and has a classic feel. The single stone tunnel is a nice piece that has a nice appeal. The inclusion of the arch viaduct is nice as it brings a variety to the elevation of the set. 
Another feature I really love about this set is the character cards, something we don't get today. These helped me learn new things about all the characters, and they were a nice freebie. Something that I really liked that was included in this set is this advertisement telling you about the new feature for the year, Roadway Track. You could buy curves, ascending track, and switches. It was nice how they gave a fair amount of attention to the roadway vehicles back in the early 2000s. Back to the point of this video, this set is a great recreation of the episode it's based on, and the sets provide enough features for hours of entertainment. This will always be one of my favorite sets, and I give it a solid 9 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching this review, and I'm very happy to have been here for three years now. It's really great being in this community.